It's your boy Mikey with We Talking Media in the flesh. We gotta talk about basketball. Listen, I was off for a little bit. Uh, remember, remember not to uh, talk about anything from uh, the Middle East, so you can get in trouble. That said, we gonna walk through this talk about basketball. I'm not gonna get into the USA World Tournament right now yet. You know, I just I think it's a, it's a little early, and we kind of see how things are swinging. Obviously, French. El Frenchy will be the toughest matchup for the USA. But I want to talk about the Summer League, the free agency right now. There was a lot of talent, a lot of surprises, uh, but some very good role players and possible starters that showed themselves in the Summer League. I always say there's like three to five guys that are going to surprise you. Let's walk through those five guys that are actually going to play. And then we can talk about the depth of talent. It's kind of nuts out here, man. I mean, when we looked at the talent mountain, now remember, they're playing against guys who are their peers, so they're going to look a certain way if you get my drift. For instance, if I'm playing against, I'm in high school and I'm playing against all high schoolers, I'm going to look good. But when I raise up and face, let's, let's say, some top D1 talent, it looks a little different. And then when I get to the NBA, it's a little bit different. So remember, a lot of the talent here is, you know, college draftees, European players. I'm not saying they suck because I, the, I believe the window – of a player like a Paul George being 90 times greater than a player in Europe is gone. Um, but there is a, a possibly a half a step up versus the guys that are starters in the NBA. But still, what my takeaway, let's go through it real quick. A lot of talent, guys. A lot of talent. I'm going to walk this through through House of Highlights and just stop at players that I thought were special um, that could do something, okay, in the league at the next level. Um, and you're seeing a name a lot there from the Miami Heat. We'll get to him in a second, but a lot of games and a, and a lot to see, all right? Um, going in, the top draft pick, Saar, and El, the other El Frenchy on Atlanta Hawks, um, there were unknowns, okay? Um, Rod Dillingham was a favorite. Brody James has been talked about, even though he's a second-round pick. Um, but I always mention the name of uh, Matisse Bazelis. We'll get to him in a second. But Killian Ware was on my list. If you watch my draft video, I said players with a lot of upside. There's actually two guys on the Miami Heat that were on my list, Keon Johnson and then this man. Ware has been exceptional. What a steal for the Miami Heat. Not only for the pickup with the talent, but the fit. With Bam out of Bayou always being undersized, in my opinion, they finally get the Tyson Chandler-esque player that they've been looking for that can do a little bit more than Tyson Chandler. Shout-outs to Killian Ware. Obviously, he's one of the biggest surprises, and I think he gets minutes once he comes into the league. Looking at that face right now, Dalton Neck. Dalton Neck in my neighborhood. We'll see what happens with Neck. He's very similar to Reeves. He'll be a good player to have. How do they play him? How do you utilize him? I think a trade's coming. I think they're going to go for one more home run hit. I'm not sure who they can get the Lake Show. But Dalton Neck was pretty good, but he's not in my top five, okay? He was solid, um, definitely can score, definitely will contribute, but how much? Is it too packed at the guard position? I'm going to continue on. Your boy Jared McCain looked good, but the guy that really stood out to me was Ricky Council. I got to give credit where credit's due. Every game with Philadelphia, Ricky, the councilman, Duncan man, big athlete, was doing his thing in a lot of different ways. He is a you need some visuals, right? What am I doing? Should I get some visuals on here? It's gonna make the it's gonna make the video like 30 30,000 minutes long, but Ricky Council was definitely there. Zach Eady, just walking through faces, right? Just continue to go up. Zach Eady was solid. Um, I hate to say it. They got too big. They got an off scene. They got this guy. They got some muscle in there. They could play tough ball. Okay. Memphis Pistons. Yeah, I'm making fun of them like the Detroit Pistons of the 80s. Maybe big talent and Edie looks good. Jalen Wells scoring. Guards were a plenty in this in this in this uh summer league and they were all over. Jared Jared, uh, Jared uh, Jalen Wells was solid, can do it all. Atypical of the guards in the NBA now. Just a lot that you can go get. I hate to say DeMar Derenzen, I'm not going to lie to you. I know you wanted to go to the Lakers. I know the Lakers wanted you. I think they can fill your spot with more but players that can shoot the ball better from three um, and that, are, that have a more uh, more better understanding of how many shots they're going to get a game. Okay, 
they don't need they don't need the ball in hands. There's a lot out there for the Lakers to go get. Too many. They actually got two, Reeves and and Neck. I think Reeves would have been hurt by DeMar Derenza, just a heads up. Stephon Castle is right there. Looks solid. He's a top five pick, but I don't have him on my top five. Sorry. Got Council. I got your boy Keelan Ware. Castle looks good though. Looks good. Can do it all. Not sure where they play him. Not enough minutes. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh Bronny, we'll just, you know, pretty solid. We know what he's gonna do there. Keon Johnson is the, another guy there in the, in the photo. Um, Lakers wish they would have had him, but I, I tell you what, wish they did it because Neck doesn't have enough room to breathe. So everyone's saying they should have drafted this and that situational fit. Keon Johnson wouldn't have got no playing time. So he, he got to the right spot with a team that could sign him, and we'll get into his teammate, who I think is part of the top five standouts for me, but I'll continue on, okay? Honorable mention for my boy here, Keontae George. He's a bona fide scorer. And the Jazz have a lot of talent. Lloyd Marketing better reconsider what he's thinking about as a move. This is a young team that has scoring where he can be the main man and not have to give anything off. Um, I think Lloyd should stay with Utah, and I love Keontae George. The guys on that team that need to do a little bit more but probably didn't get the, the, the flow of things was – um, the guys who I think will be definitely contributors in Darius Baisley and Kenny Lofton. Not sure they can keep them all. If one of those guys move off, hopefully there's one more opportunity for them before the league does what they do. You know, um, Those guys definitely um, just need minutes, and I was really impressed by that whole squad, especially Keontae George. He's definitely an honorable, honorable mention. Pusaseski, I can't say his name, Pusaseski from Golden State. A lot of people like his pace. A lot of people are coveting him in a trade. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, brother. I don't know what's that special for you. But if if, if I'm thinking about it, a Reed Shepard light, okay, a Reed Shepard light comes to mind. Very, very well skilled, a very organized, doesn't turn it over as much, can shoot the rock. Hey, sometimes that's what you need to win. Sometimes that's, that, that steady talent is better than that super talent because super talent is off and on. Um, so, Podomeski was good, but definitely not an honorable mention for me. Terrence Shannon Jr. from Minnesota. Uh, again, had some issues or was, 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 was pointed to as having some issues in the offseason, some false accusations that he got resolved. Uh, Shannon Jr. looked incredible. Um, Minnesota has got a great pick there. Is he in my top five? We'll hold him there. He's definitely in consideration. He did a lot. You want to see a little bit? Let's let's go because I don't think a lot of people have seen Shannon. I think you guys seen Snack. I think you saw see Council, Council, but no one's really seen too much of this boy. Let's go ahead and watch this real quick. The speed is what's scary for me at his size. Okay. Uh, big athlete too. Think of Corey Brewer. Think of Corey Brewer back in the day, and that's what he reminds a lot of talent here, guys. NBA is stupid. He's definitely up there, um, and there needs to be roommate defensively. There it goes. That's what I saw. Okay? Really good pickups for Minnesota. They got better. That's a jump shot. Boom. From three. I don't know why it's so fuzzy in this video. But it's a breakaway. You can see what's happening. Oh, love him. I love him. Um, if, if, if I watch that again, I'm going to put him on my top five. But he's there. He's right on the edge. We'll continue to go on. Really look good. Marjan Joe, Joe Camp, is that him then? No, that's not him yet. That's Jalen Wells from, um, from uh, Memphis. I'm going to keep going up here. Reed Shepard. Reed Shepard. Reed Shepard, the pace. The pace is scary, okay? The pace is scary. Definitely. Mark Price, John Stockton come to mind, all right? I know I'm, I hate to do the white on white thing, but he reminds me so much of those guys. Um, really a steal. How do you open up the lane for him? Van Fleet is there. Do you move him to a backup role? With the salaries that they have now, maybe it works. But Reed Shepard, I'm telling you, what a gem. Is this the full debut? Let's go ahead and watch a little bit of this. He's in my top five, guys. Yeah, I threw him in there with his teammate. 
That's his teammate there. I love him, Cam Whitmore. I let the hat out the bag early, but there goes Shepard. Just the pace. It's not anything crazy special. It's the pace, guys. And he has it. He controls it, okay? That was defense, folks. That was defense, okay? Look how far that out it is. Scary talent. They had a guy by the name of Matthews that could shoot like this boy. But, and there goes that move. Everyone knows the scene now. Lord have mercy on me. Jesus. Look at his father. Ha! <laughs> Pace. Jesus. Jesus. Whitmore. Uh. I'm going to let it go. Reed Shepard. Really impressed, summer league wise. Alexander Saar. I saw enough to tell me this is a Kevin Garnett. I know I saw a zero point game. Could care less. If you're a real hooper, you know how it goes. Okay? It's going to be bad games. But Saar has Kevin Garnett potential. Just need to give him the ball. Zachary Riche is what he is. Um, it's Clay Thompson tall. Great score. Should do well in the league. Um, not, no it factor for me, but definitely controlled. Has a shot. Um, you know, you, you're not, you're not going to lose with him. You know, you got a 3 and D player at, at a minimum, and he can grow into whatever he's going to grow into. Zachary Risache looks good out there, all right? Here goes my number four guy, okay, or the next guy in it, Matt Buzelis. Matt Buzelis. What a fucking pickup. We'll go to his 25-point game. I'm going to skip around a little bit. Okay, Tijan Salon was solid. We'll see more of Killian Webb. Ronald Holland, defensively, looked great. We'll get to him in a second. He was also on my list, all right? He was also on my list, so I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of naked here. Council, Ricky Council, I got um, Killian Ware. I, I had um, Reed Shepard, that's three. Buzelis, that's four. And then Ron Holland. Ron Holland was definitely another guy. That really stuck out for me defensively with a motor. And and Detroit, I wish they would have kept everybody in the Marcus Bagley and James Wiseman, but I guess moves are made. I don't think I don't think they had to make those moves defensively, especially if they were able to keep all those guys. They would have been one of the scariest defensive teams in the East Coast. And with that youth, it can get very, very crazy. Holland, what does he play at the next next level? I'm not sure. There's gonna be small four, power four. I'm not sure. But definitely a steal in the draft in Ronald Holland. He, Stephon Council, again, st solid there. Uh, uh, Clingman, we'll get to him in a second. Uh, Cody Williams uh, was solid, was solid. There goes Pazizewski again. I didn't see much from Mr. Tyson, but solid. Shepard, again, a good game. I'm going to continue up. Tristan De Silva, solid. Here goes Buzelis with a 28-point game. Let's go ahead and see something. Let's get let's get here real quick. I told you he's a dangerous talent, dangerous, and they missed out on him. Just just start him immediately. Of course you would. Uh huh. All right. That's him. Six ten now. Six ten now. Okay. A little bit slow. That's the only thing I would say about his game. Um, but think Keith Van Horn 2024, 2025. He's definitely a Keith Van Horn type player. Really like what I see from Buzelis. Here goes a shot. Lord have mercy. Uh. Has everything. Has it. Remember, 6'10. Jump shot. Quick release. Nice. He's getting wet. Let him get wet. There you go. Okay. Solid. Solid. But has the most upside. He can do everything on the court. Uh, I liked him. And he has dunking ability as well. Really, really special talent. All right. Rookie Dennis. Solid. Didn't have him in anything. And Gigi Jackson looked really good for this year. 
uh, Donovan Klingon was blocking the hell out of everything. So you 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 did get what you expected in the draft. Um, New York Knicks, not really. Kadu was out there. I don't know if that was a Kadu, the young guy or the brother. Um, Holland, again, we talked about him. Just skipping through a little bit. Klingman. A.J. Johnson, what a surprise look. Um, drafted a little bit higher than expected. Johnson did his thing. Solid. Solid player. Uh, has all the attributes you need to be a pro. Alondis Williams came in honorable mention. He's another guy I mentioned. Cam Whitmore, Alondis, and Council from Philadelphia. Alondis is just a, a mandible. If you want to see it again, I'll, I mean, he's been doing this for years. And that G Lee, watch this one. Good night. Do you have the time? <laughs> just an animal out there. And Alondis Williams, he can do so much on the court. Um, it's just sad that he's not getting the minutes that he deserves. Was on the Nets at one point. Um, I've been following him uh, since the draft, uh, but just can't get break through. Can't break through into the league, and it's a shame because it's wasted talent and a big explosion player. Look at this. Jesus. That's the only highlight you need. Let's keep going. All right. Um, Boston, not much there. Gigi Jackson again was solid. Good game for Bronny on a comeback. Um, Saar trying to come back two points again the Luckily, Sar had those games. It would have been all about Bronny, right? Um, and then that was it. DJ Stewart, solid. But Ron Holland and Ware, we got Reed Shepard. Klingon had a good second or third game, whatever this one is, probably third game, where he got comfortable. And uh, you can see the damage that he did here. Donovan Klingon, 16 and 12. Again, a lot of these guys are going to contribute a lot of well, right away to play. Looks like Tyson's going to play too. Okay, he's had a couple of good games for him. That is a draft pick for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Blake Henson always looked good with Bronny out there. Thank God Bronny was there with him to show off his skill set. Is a shooting shooting guard nightmare. Big and burly, but can shoot. Scary athlete. Let's see if he gets picked up and keeps with somebody in the NBA. Let's keep going on. Uh, Scotty Pippen, solid game. Rob Dillingham, very good couple games, but on and off has to work on consistency, especially against this level of competition where you have to truly dominate, okay? Um, that's it. I got nothing else really that stood out to me, uh, but I want to take us to scoring to see how this thing pivoted through. Like, we talk about it, but how did it pivot through to numbers with my evaluation? So, number, uh, no order, Killian Ware, Alondis Williams, Buzelis, Reed Shepard, and then I have one more in there. <sighs> Reed Shepard, I'm missing one. <laughs> it's not Council. It's not, I had Council in there. It's Council, Whitmore, or Alondis on a 1v1 play with me. I'm just, I'm just going to run it like that as the uh, other. Oh, Killian Ware. Killian Ware was the other guy. And then I got those three as one, 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 one together and see what happens. So let's check this out, right? Um, NBA Summer League points. Yeah, stat track. I believe I went to this. And there's a real GM online. There we go. These are the only guys that keep the stats, guys, which is a shame. And we'll go here to 24-25. I believe this is the year in. And uh, Julian Strath led the league in scoring. It was interesting to me. Like that didn't, you know, I wasn't watching him, but he did that. Jamie Jack, well, Jamie Waquez looked good from uh, from uh, Miami. Jordan Mill looked good. Look at Ricky Council there. Jaden Springer as a point guard looks solid. Again, nothing too special except Ricky Council to me. Um, Brandon Miller, I believe, did not play. G.G. Jackson. Stephon Castle, 22 points per game. Actually, Brandon, again, Brandon did play one game. Okay. Um, uh, Stephon Castle, 22 uh, Pippen looks good. These are top scores, guys. These are top scores. Dalton Neck looked good over three games. Remember that, too? All right. No. Yep, that's about. Yeah, Reed Shepard's there. Neck. Uh, Nemus Keaty proved to be a good role player. Jet Howard, Jawan Howard's son. Josh Christopher looked good. Look good. There's so much talent out here, guys. Just look at this. A lot of these guys are not even going to play. They're trying to make a team. Um, just to put in perspective how hard it is to make the NBA the league. It is what it is. But at this time, from a role player perspective, there's plenty the hell out there. NBA, wake up. We need another team or more room because 
This place is getting crowded. I'm out.